Hello, today I'm going to talk about your hyper subroutine in Abacus. And what we learn from this package? In the first part, we answer to the question that what does your hyper subroutine do in Abacus and what's its functionality? The second part, we present you some theories behind hyper elastic materials in Abacus. Actually, we need to know some theories before we start working with your hyper subroutine. We need to know some theories behind that. And knowing this theory is very essential. Because if we do not uh, understand the theory behind it. And then in the last part, uh, we show you through an example how to write a new hyper subroutine and the correct procedure that we should take to write it properly. And finally, I want to mention that this is only an introduction to new hyper subroutine and I want to make you familiar with this easy to use subroutine to present isotropic hyperelastic materials in Abacus. As I told you, uh, we use a new hyper subroutine that I generated in my previous example for the material of the block. We also consider incompressibility by letting this item unchecked. In the mesh module, we should use uh, a hybrid elements because we, we want to consider incompressibility, we should use hybrid element. I, and I also used quadratic uh, elements for better accuracy. Okay, and finally, in the results section, we can see the deformation of the block is caused by pressing of the ball. Okay, we can see that these two surfaces reach to each other due to the formation. We shouldn't forget to attach the subroutine when we are creating the job. Here uh, in the general tab I attached uh, my subroutine for this model. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you can use the material covered in this video to write your own U-Hyper subroutines. Thank you again. Bye.